Welcome to the studio here in Paris. We're talking about the key highlights from this year's show at European Utility Week and PowerGen Europe. Welcome, Kevin. Hey, welcome. Thanks for having me. What have been some of your highlights? It's been wandering around the last three days. It's as hectic as ever. Um, the co-location with PowerGen and whatever, the, 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 this industry is becoming much more, all the silos are breaking down. Um, I suppose the big thing, and I, can, I suppose it ties in with society, is um, everyone's talking about decarbonization. Yeah. Um, and, and that's kind of been a, a surprising thing. Technology's kind of way down the food chain, yeah. and it's all about decarbonization and climate change and whatever, and that's good to see. But again, it kind of because so what are we doing about it? Yeah, there's a feeling from the public that we're not going fast enough. Do you have the same feeling on the floor? I, I did, actually. Um, there's a bit of frustration, and, I, and, and, and I'm not sure if it's tied in with the whole Friday for Futures and the kids coming home and going, hey, Mammy and Daddy and Granddad and Uncle and whatever, you're working in this industry. Why aren't we going? Why aren't you doing more? Yeah. Um, so I, I was chatting to a lot of the folks that I know, and I'd say, "How's it going?" And they're like, oh, "It's so slow, and we should be doing things faster." And whatever. And now, to be quite honest, they say, "Well, they're selling something, so wouldn't wouldn't they always say that?" But I do get a sense of kind of we do need to to move a bit faster, um, and 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 I think there's the, I, I think it's kind of the, the societal pressure is kind of building up under people. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm hoping that we'll see some stuff moving faster as opposed to just more pilots. You love your tech. Have you seen some cool tech here? There's, n I suppose the newest thing here was, I, I bumped into a couple of companies, I'm looking for them. Um, you know, we've been talking about artificial intelligence for years and it means many things to many people. And then we had machine learning and advanced machine learning and whatever. Um, there's a couple of folks here with deep learning. So neural networks, multi-layered. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty interesting. But it gets under the covers. But what, what is, I suppose um, what's satisfying to see is so since we know each other, you know, I'm talking about drones and augmented reality and virtual reality, and it, and three or four years ago, I was kind of out there. You're now seeing it kind of, and it, it's not eye candy. It's like here's how we're training our workers. We're actually gathering the data to for our predictive maintenance from drones. Yeah. It's like yeah, we're doing that. Mm, yeah, that's not new anymore. Yeah. Um, so that's good to see. Um, and I, 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 I suppose the, the other thing I suppose I'd, I'd say in terms of technology, software, um, there's a lot more so AI, algorithms, whatever. Um, and then the other thing is around materials, yeah. chemistry. You know, there, there's a bunch of companies at this place and basically they're a chemical company. They're making batteries yeah. with different chemicals and yeah. combinations of stuff. So that's, that's it, it's, it's not slowing down. One of our guests said earlier that today that blockchain wasn't really a talking point anymore. It was a uh, solution looking for a problem. Is that a sentiment uh, that you felt? No, well, um, so, so right, blockchain is not the solution to, I wouldn't say anything, but almost anything. Blockchain is simply, it's a building block, it's a tool. So you see people using blockchain, NG in France for verifying electricity bills. The hype is gone, thank God, right? Because you had all these ICOs and we're going to do all this. But but there's still a lot of companies out there and they're using blockchain for verifying that the data that came from that device actually came from that device and are not being spoofed. Um, it's it's a, it's a technology, it's maturing. God knows it has a lot more to mature. Yeah. But it's it to me, blockchain is like HTML, right? It's it's just a, it's not going away and it's just a piece of the puzzle. You talk to the Energy Web Foundation, whatever, they're on, they're on about now um, D-apps, yeah. distributed applications. Um, so yeah, so the hype is gone and that's a good thing. Yeah. Um, but you know, it, it, it isn't gone away, but it, there's people just doing little bits under the covers. Having walked around the show for three days, is the sector going in the right direction? I think it's going in the right direction. It's going there slowly. Yeah. Um, and it is complicated, you know, I, I've said it to you, I've said it to many people. I, I spend my time looking at the technology. The technology is the easy bit. Um, it's the societal acceptance, politics, trade wars. Yeah. That's the, the regulation, that's the hard bit. Um, but I, I, I would hope that what we're seeing in society and the next generation going, ah, come on guys, you know, move, go a bit faster. Yeah. And they're not dictating that it's this technology or that technology, but just do something. Yeah. Um, I, I think, I'm hoping we'll get more leadership. And what I mean by that is, maybe that is a government deciding that we're, I don't know, I'm making this up, we're going hydrogen. Yeah. The whole economy is going hydrogen. Yeah. And you'd say, well, why would you do Well, somebody, at least they made a decision yeah. and let's go that way. Somebody else might say, we're going 
gas. Somebody else says we're going somewhere else. Is, Somebody is your, make a decision. Is your feeling that the sector is going to start making the decisions for them? What? I think I, th- I think industry are our companies are, um, but it, but um, I think the other thing is people. It's not just about ha- I have a technology, I have a solution, and that's going to fix it. It's going to be a it's going to be a region, the Ruhr Valley, Paris. Somebody's going to make a decision that look, hey, to do this, we need to we need to fix we need to electrify transport, we need to electrify industry, or we we, we just need to change the fuel mix. For want of a better word. Yeah. And in this region, because of these circumstances, and we happen to have a salt cavern under the ground, we're going with hydrogen. I'm just making this up, but that there is, I, I'm hoping that will start to happen. And in other places where they don't have a salt cavern, well, the hydrogen may not be, you know, it's not ready for prime time, and lots of other reasons. And that's just an example. But you're looking at Denmark using heat pumps from salt water. You know, it's going to be very localized based on what resources you have, what makes sense in your region. But but I'm 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 hoping. I'm hoping some adults in the room take a decision. Um, and I suppose my, my fear with that is in today's world, when someone does make a decision, the hype cycle against that decision just takes off and, oh my God, that's a stupid decision. And, and every, because it's not my product or it's not my pet topic. Um, I'm still hopeful. But um, yeah, we could do we could, a bit of, uh, somebody make a decision. It's all about the community. We look forward to seeing you in Milan next year. Hey, uh, I'll be in Lit. Inlet in Milan, October 2020. Thanks a lot for joining us. Be sure to subscribe to our channels for more industry-related content.